Good evening, everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I am Original Dinosaur. Happy Monday! For those of you in the UK, it is Bank Holiday Monday, so I hope you've enjoyed your day off. For those of you who haven't been working, for those of you who have been working, I salute you. It is not always the fun thing to work Bank Holiday, but I hope it's been a good day all around. For those of you not in the UK, I hope you've had a good day at work, as per usual. Or not at work, if you don't work on a Monday. I don't know. I don't know. Already got an itchy, dribbly nose. Oh, right. I have a fresh new game to play. Uh, I mean, you guys might have seen it before. Who knows? I've never heard of it before, before I found it on Steam. Uh, it is called... Song of... Oh, you can't see it. Can't... Because I'm in the way. Hang on. Bear with. Bear with. Wait, 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 wait. Grab that. Ooh. Pop myself down there just for the moment. Might have to move myself again in a minute. It's called Zorg of Horror! There we go. <laughs> uh, it's new, it's a uh, fairly new game. I can, do you know what? I can't actually remember when it came out. Let's find out. Uh, Steam, 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 Steam. I don't think it's very old. 2019, so it's only a couple of years old. Um, and yeah, I'm quite excited to play it. It's, um, you'll. If we just have a quick look at the settings, you can see it's sort of along the classic horror novelist theme, I feel. So we've got E.T.A. Hoffman, M.R. James, Edgar Allan Poe, which is sort of like intended difficulty, so that's what I'm going to stick with. There is a H.P. Lovecraft difficulty, but I'm not allowed to play it, apparently. Uh, so I guess if I want to play that, I'm going to have to play through the game once more. But let's start with a prelude, which is a Friday like any other. For my little something. I can't really read what that said. Subtitles are on for you guys so you can read the speech and all that stuff. Um oh. Why is it further? Ooh! Tentacles! Audio didn't quite sound synced up there. Something a bit, something a bit, a bit off. Maybe it'll fix itself. Oh. Got a breath. We're in. September twenty fifth, nineteen ninety eight. So year after I was born. Hello. Who are you? Cool jacket. Daniel's apartment. So this must be Daniel. I will try and keep an eye on... Home sweet home. Oh, he's very British. Oh my goodness. What? How do I... Do I move the camera? Hang, hang on. Hang on. Right. First things first. Okay, everything's at max volume. That's what we need to know. Tutorials. I have no tutorials just yet. Okay. Uh, e. My old flashlights. It saved me more than once in the great outdoors. E. I should probably keep that back on. Oh, look. Some nice photos. No. Nope. There we go. Stick the light back on. Okay. We're on the old Resident Evil camera. Camera business. Now we're in the living room. What we got here? Oh. Plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. Do you like jazz? My videotape collection. I've got quite a few westerns and cop movies. Can't wait to see the next X-Files episode. And there's a 90s reference. I should sell that old thing once and for all. Okay, so there's not much recycling. <laughs> not the great greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the spot. I feel like that's true of all takeaway pizzas. Damn, close the curtains again. I'll end up killing this poor plant. Right, open the curtains. 
It appears not. What else we got? Camera! That's the light. Or is that what that was? Okay, well, I'll keep the light on, I guess, so we can see what we're doing. What else we got here? Bin? Shit! Could have sworn I took out the trash! Yeah, well, obviously you didn't. Some leftover coffee! Not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Alright. Uh, I suspect you're probably more of an alcohol person. Squeaky clean, just like it should be. Not really hungry. Plus, I didn't get any groceries this week. Good thing you're not hungry then, eh? Doesn't appear to be anything else in here. Okay, we'll go back out the door. And we'll go for a poop. Man, the toilet drain stinks, as usual. It's your fault for taking such big stinky poos. And we're in the office. Oh, crikey, seriously. Crikey, what are you, Australian? My 80s vinyl collection. Maybe next month I'll be able to afford a shelf to put, it, put them on. Sophie, it's taken me years to put those pictures out again. I assume she's dead. Hmm. Packed with random stuff. My apartment's definitely too small. Oh, what's that? Sebastian P. Husher, the his historical fiction author. He sold filthy millions copies of his last novel. Oakley doakley. Okay. I sh ah, there we go. <laughs> I thought I missed that. Hello. Hello. It's me, Etienne. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks! I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, <laughs> and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I oh. they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Of course. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. I mustn't ever stretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. Okay, good. Family things is going a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Wow. Dead okay, so she's not a dead. Bloody alcoholic. Shin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husha. I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. We have arrived! It's probably released some sort of malevolent force or something. Husher, oh, the Husher Mansion is home to writer Sebastian P. Husher, wife, and something else. I should have read that. Yeah. 
Here we are. Prelude, a Friday like any other. I think it might be a little abnormal. Most people don't just leave their front doors open. Uh, I might just move my head back up where it was. Just because, obviously, some of the... Um... Some of the uh, subtitles seem to be going underneath underneath my body. Tricycle. Oh. Tricycle. I didn't know Harsha had kids. <laughs> Why take the side door when I can take the main one right there? Good question. To be sneaky. Oh, I can run. Oh, he does not like jogging. Newspaper. That murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. Knock knock. Hello. Is that music? I'd better take a look. Yeah, each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press F. Once it's on, you can choose which, uh, the direction in which you want to point at the light. To do so, use the mouse. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you to interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. Fabulous. That's what we like to hear. Is that someone playing a music box? The alarm seems disabled. Much better. If it goes off, I'll have lots of explains to. That's a lot of clothes. Is there anyone home? No, that's not where the music's coming from. This is the bathroom! It's much better since I stopped drinking. Maybe I can ask Sophie out. Bah! Focus, Daniel! anyone in there? Anyone hiding in the shower? Behind the shower curtain? They look like travel guides. The clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. What is it? Not 12 o'clock? <coughs> Excuse me. Hushering is in a lot of these frame pictures. The rest must be family, I guess. Those paintings are depressing. I'd never put them up in my place. That's a valid point. That's weird. What are all those suitcases doing here? Okay. A matchbox. Can't think of any reason to burn the house down yet. All covered in dust. This place hasn't been cleaned in days. Seems to be getting louder. There's something on that door. Oh, oh, wait. I didn't realize it was going to be a cutscene. Ah, documents and items. You found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing E. To examine the backside, use the mouse. You can access your inventory and collected documents at any time by pressing I slash J. Uh, read. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favour of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store. An ornate music box with fan fascinating engravings. Craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps 
I should say, uh, ear. The melody, Sebastian. It's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I have never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score, or the name of the composer, have failed. I cannot, for the life of me, get that melody out of my head. Hmm. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? I would forever be forever grateful. With the warmest, warmest of wishes, Isaac Farber. P.S. I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find out about said box. Letter addressed to Sebastian P. Husher, 25 Abbott Thomas Road, 4. Oh, I see. Almost looks like the, the uh, address has been blotted out a little bit. Uh, Reddit. How do I get out? Escape. Interesting. Decorative fruit to the expense of porcelain kind. I guess they don't want to think anyone to think they're poor. Table is set but covered in dust. Where is everybody? Books and plates in the same cabinet. Not much order there. A valid point. Only portraits, I guess. They look old. Man, that mirror's dirty. Okay, well, that's the door. I came in. Let's try this door. Ah! And we are back out the corridor. Well, I could go towards the music, but I could also go... Oh, no, he's no, got... the music isn't coming from upstairs. Oh, right, fine. I won't go upstairs then, shall I? <laughs> Okay, I will go in here. This is the door back into the dining room. Interesting. That's not how I thought that was going to go. Okay, well, we'll uh, explore this big room here then. Panana? What a beauty! Must sound like an angel. Oh, uh, a chessboard really suits the highbrow feel of this house. Or it does. Oh, that's record player. Looks vintage. With so many people in the house, it's no wonder no one's ever answered Etienne's calls. This is another way through. I am jumping the gun here. Let's just finish exploring the room. I have expecting these doors to be locked. This is why I keep going through them. All of these books were written by Husher. They must be first editions. The, that deer's head is almost as big as I am. Are talking about the booze or the eagle here? Probably the booze. Oh, look, look, look at all of these bottles. I think they almost ruined my life. That looks like Jack Daniels. Not a sponsor, just putting that out there. History and art magazines. I've nothing against them, but they but I bet they bore me to death. Probably me too, to be fair. History and art is not always my forte. This plant is barely alive, if at all. When was the last time they watered it? At least they've got the curtains open, which is more than you can say, my friend. Daniel. Okay, well, that's this room covered. It sounds like the music is coming from... ...in there. So I think that's probably the last place we want to go. And that would be why the letter was on there as well. I'll go through to the other room where that library place is. If I break that, my grandsons will finish paying it off. <laughs> History, fiction, fun to read. Although I prefer the newspaper. A camera. Or rather, a fake camera. Interesting. A respectable amount of books. No, don't go through the... Ugh. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this system. It's not a system that I... <laughs> 
that I am familiar with. Ta-da! I wonder who this is. That was it. Don't, you, don't have any wisdom. Uh, mostly noir and police thrillers. Now I like these. Uh, grammar, reference books. I guess they come in handy when Hush is writing. Makes sense. Man, this guy is even messier than I am. Books, books, and more books. Japanese swords. Anything from that country is popular now, thanks to those stupid cartoons. Looks like this drawer is jammed shut. Guess I can't force it open either, then. Okay, cool. Done some neat exploring. I think we've seen all we need to see. We'll go and find this music box. Through the door. What the? I knew it. How can there be a door there? Oh, that is a good question. I have no idea. Maybe we should put the record player on. There's a classic music album on the record player. There's stuff lying about all over the place. Reminds me of my college dorm. Put the violin. The radio has to be older than me. Are those rifles real? Or are the ones on the wall? Wow, this guy likes to hunt. Sophie would have a fit if she saw this. Those look like shotguns, not rifles. Anything else? Anything else of note? Doesn't appear to be. Alright, let's try this door then. Wow, that's loud in my ears. Oh dear. And shut! Bye bye, Daniel. I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. I thought these are the lights weren't supposed to run I out. I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations. Nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. And yet, I guess we're still alive? Three days later. Achievement unlocked, the door that should not be. Etienne? Do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. 
I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. Okay, so what, are we Sophie now? It's nice to know that Sophie has concern for him. Even though they're divorced. Oh! Hello! Sophie Van Denend. Uh, age 40, light source candle. Life has put Sophie to test many times, but she always pulls through. It's thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, uh, is now enjoying the ever, uh, ever elusive prosperity she has always longed for. Uh, so she seems fairly medium. Scented candles. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Sophie. Do I have more people to choose from? Oh, I can be Etienne. Etienne Bertrand, age 45, light source lighter. Uh, Etienne, a um, confident, self-made man, is sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. <coughs> Excuse me. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they've grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. So he doesn't seem to have quite as good stats, but better strength. It's a note folder. Writing down anything is important to secret is important to the secret to remembering. Well, I can write down things physically. Oh, okay. Alexander Laskin. Uh, age 59, is light source candle. Alexander and his wife Masha are housekeepers uh, at writer P. Sebastian. Uh, writer Sebastian P. Hush's mansion. Watching over the author's children is one of their many household duties. The Russian couple. Uh, of Christian faith, moved to Europe in the early 80s in an attempt to flee from a mysterious past that Alexander rarely, if ever, speaks about. Metal hip flask. Take a good squig from the flask to soothe your nerves when the danger lurks. Always work for me. Alina Ramos, age 32, light source flashlight. Alina is passionate, hands down type of learner, always eager. Uh, to get her hands dirty at work, happy and energetic. She's travelled the world with her sister in search for a better life for them both. Now working as an electrical technician at Monolith Security, Alina is part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems for exclusive clients. She has a walkie-talkie. It doesn't work very well, picks up a lot of weird interference. That could be fun for her. Uh... Okay, then we're back at Sophie van den End. So, Alina is quite good on speed and stealth, has pretty decent strength, serenity not so great. Sophie has fantastic serenity. I'm assuming I'm choosing who I'm playing as at this point. Uh, but Etienne Bertrand is best at strength, he's pretty o he's okay at stealth, and his serenity is not too bad. Oh, good. So Alexander is fantastic at strength. I feel like Alina's probably the best choice here, because I get this, I'm, I'm always more of the stealthy player when it comes to these sorts of games. And I think the radio could be quite exciting to use. To maybe listen to the dead? I don't know. Weird signals. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Lena. I'm assuming I'm choosing the character I'm playing. Look at documents for clues. I'll remember that one. Especially if I get stuck. Ah, I am Alina. Maybe I get to play as the other characters later on. I think a flashlight is always preferable as well over a candle or a lighter. Hello, Alina. 
I just, can I leave? Uh, it, it is the main entrance door. We we'll have keys to all our customers' doors at the company. Tricycle, my sister and I had one like it when we were little. What's she gonna say about this? Door is jammed. I can't get through there. Typical. Oops. Look at the ink. It must have rained on that newspaper. Chapter 1. The Husher Mansion. Hmm. The door was open. Were they waiting for me? Hmm. Uh, there are oh. One speaks of my country. Where are you from, Alina? Sometimes I see expensive cots like this when I'm installing alarms in the houses for some senoras. Uh, maybe she was from Spain or Mexico. Here we got the alarm controls, but it looks like the electricity isn't reaching it. Can't be good. Toilet! Oh, it's open this time. It wasn't open before. The mirror is dirty as hell. I can hardly see myself. Interesting. You should open your eyes, Alina. This is a room we didn't manage to get into before. Clothes suitcase look that looks like it is filled with clothes. One should hope so. A bird sitting on a girl covered by a blanket. It is like the bird ripped away her soul. An interesting analysis. There are a lot of doors going on here. I'm going to go back and just assess the remains of the corridor before we get stuck in there. What I see hanging here, I bet there's somebody in the house. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Oh, good note. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately, and I need and we need we need to talk about this as soon as you get back. And I don't want them playing with it. Okay. Dusty note. Note found in the mansion entrance written by Catherine Hush's wife on September 4th, 1988. 1998, sorry. Old family photos in black and white. Tortured soul can only make paintings like that. Some of these suitcases are empty, but others are not. It looks like they never finished unpacking. Can I go upstairs? Oh, not yet. Mm, I should take a look in this floor first. Okay. Alright, we'll work methodically then. We'll go back to that door. Uh, at the start of the corridor and then we will just work our way back there are a lot of doors in this little section though so who knows where we're going to end up stop this one. Oh, this looks like a garage can I look at that when Rosa and I were little our family moved to Lima from the Pueblo Pueblo? Uh, I used, I love to ride my bike down the city streets. A motorbike. Next to that monster, my scooter seems so little. Boiler functioning, upper panel, shut down. Press the left button, start. Press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning. Uh, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Okay. Good to know. Boiler is here. The problem is that it's not getting electricity. Okay. I guess we're going to have to come back down to the uh, fuses. Uh -huh. uh, an old bed fork screwed shut. No better box said it has a fusion inside, but it's closed shut with a screw. It's locked tight with a screw. So I need a screwdriver. Okay, I get to keep it. I see drills, but no drill bits. There is a hole punch and some helmets too, but no flathead screwdrivers. Who has a tool bench with no flathead screwdrivers? Sacrilege. 
Unless we're using it somewhere, obviously. Could have been. Right, what are the doors have we got here? Let's go for this one next. Uh, no. Locked. Nope. What about this one? Ah. Uh, Locked nope. as well. Ah. Nope. Right, it said there was a key in the s study. Uh, this was a. Sp these were small rooms, I think, weren't they? This was a small room. Matches? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just going to pick those up. <laughs> just an ordinary matchbox. Type 90 matches. It says 50, but that doesn't look like 50. Hmm. There are a few matches left in the box. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't know what I would use that thing for here. Okay, well, we'll just keep it for now then, shall we? Beautiful tea service set. The kitchen! There's something on the counter. There is. Oh, I miss the fruits of my country so much. I didn't recognize the language in those books, but from cup from the cover they look like cookbooks. Right, bear with. They only drank half the coffee. Such a waste. Mira, look at those sparks. The puddle must be screwing with the lights in the house. Okay. Am I gonna die if I stand on it? No. Uh Okay, I don't think I have anything to use here. Second. S something else here. Oh. Drawing by Saul. A drawing by Hush's youngest child. Soul 7. Right. This fridge is full of notes and family chores. Okay. Alright, let's see what's here on the counter. Hmm. A ring. A metal ring. Hmm. The ring is made of iron. I'm not so sure where it comes from. Okay. Door. Nope. Locked. Open. Into some sort of pantry. Mm. All this artificial stuff. Where are the fresh foods? It's a pantry. You don't usually keep fresh foods in the pantry. Cats, dog food, and other things. Mm -hmm. A grenade! Oh no, oil can. A rusty can of motor oil. I think they use this kind of oil in the garage where I used to take my car. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm guessing maybe the garage is a hint there? Who knows? There was a bang. What was that noise? You better take a look before you go, go back out. Press your ear against the door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, press and hold right click. Whilst you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. Pucha, what was that? Good question. Let's go and listen, shall we? Seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with the other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you've explored so far. To open it, press M. The map will constantly update with relevant information. Don't forget to check it out once in a while. Aye, aye, Thanks Captain. So. That's really useful. Okay, so we've got a thing. Oh. This is so good. I like this map. Can I move it? Can I do anything with it? That's a no. But at least we've got things that we can look at and see. And we know where we've been. Why is there a weird camera? What is that? Was that something that I looked at where she was like, Oh, that's weird. No, that must have been one of the doors. Oh, I think that was the blocked door, wasn't it? That's okay. Right, we will continue on. Does this mean I need to listen at every door? Oh, a creak and a half. That 
sounds like a footstep. That's a footstep. There's someone in there? What do I do? There must be someone in there. But listen again. Okay, maybe we just don't go through that door just yet. What if we listen to this door? Oh, I can't listen to this door. Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that the coast is clear then. Okay, let's try listening at this door. Can I listen to this door? Listen. See, it sounds a bit like there's footsteps, but it also sounds like an audio issue. I wonder if you guys are experiencing the same thing I am. What about this door? Oh, it's the same clicking. Maybe that's just part of the ambience then. Okay, well, we'll try this room. If we die, we die. <gasps> Boom, I'm in! Okay, well, I'm not dead yet. It's a good start. They look so old. Could they be the family? Probably. Can't even see myself in the mirror. Open your eyes, my dear. What a nice high table. I could climb under it easily. Do, do, do you want to do that? Can I do that? How do I do? Can I listen? No, because I can see through it. So I can assume that it's safe. These fruits are for decoration, but they look so real. Ah, oh, it's so strange. They set the table, but nobody ate. There was even dust on the plates. I never saw how to keep the plates with the books. Uh, I'm going to go this way first, because obviously the room in the corner was the one that, with the weird door. I don't know why I'm pointing that way for you guys. That's the wrong way. The room in the corner is that way for you. This is a dark room now, and it looks a little bit scary, ain't not gonna lie. Can I play banana? The senors of the house have a piano here. I bet it makes some nice music. I'm sure it would do. I wish I could play it. Like in the game we just played. Uh, someone in this house loves chess, I think. Books written by Sebastian P. Husher, the senor of the house. Someday I must read one. Hunting an animal and then not eating it is disrespect against the gifts of our earth. I hope they ate it. Fireplace. If I find the right stuff, I could light it up. Caramba! So many bottles. I think they like to drink a lot of these ones. Oh, hang on. I've got matches. Can I light it? Use. Uh, not yet. I've got to prepare the wood before. If that makes sense. That's how you build a fire. <laughs> History magazines. They talk about people. Oh, I was about to say people and ears. That's not ears. That's people and eras. Sorry. <laughs> this plant is starting to wilt. I think I need some water. Well, I'm not worried about watering plants. I mean, unless it's an option. I'm going to get an achievement for it. What's the game? Ah, oh, Vampire. Ah, oh, I didn't finish Vampire. Let's back up to the corridor. There's a record in the corner here. Empty wine bottles next for record player. Very astute observation. We've got over here. The house telephone. Looks like a very old model. Can I listen?
Guess there's nothing there. Boom! Police! No, just, uh, me. Just security. These are all history novels and adventures. I've read this one here, Gold in the Andes. Buenísimo. I have to stop, stop. The globe looks so old. I, and I could throw it on the floor so easy. Can't really put there just for decoration. Cuantos libros? I need two lives if I want to read all these. I hope I'm not butchering this Spanish, Hispanic language. Uh, scary books. I've got to give one to my sister to keep her from sleeping so much. Nah. <laughs> Very technical books in many languages. I wish one was on electronics. I want to learn more about that. Isn't that your job? She fits and maintains security systems. So... Never mind. Uh, I don't know none of these books. Ah, I've seen swords like... Swords, uh, I've seen these swords in comics from Japan. My sister Rosa, she likes them so much. Hmm. Butcha, I'm not going to get that drawer open if I don't grease it before. Ah, well. Now you say. Mm -hmm. Now I can get the key. I got the key. Hey! Mask key. Looks like an old key. It was jammed down in... Uh, it was in the jammed drawer in the library. Huh? I've seen these old keys back in Peru. They open different locks. Okay, so she's from Peru. Nope. Is that my heart beating? Are we okay? Senor of the house is a writer. He looks, he looks like he is very old fashioned. Possibly. Do I gotta listen? I'm gonna assume not. Uh, where are we? We're in the library. Knock, knock. Please don't be in here. Okay, so. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do I have to answer that? I shouldn't answer the phone. Should I? Guess we can answer it once we're here. Hello. Hello? Uh, hello? Who is this? I can't understand anything. We can't leave my room. What? What the? Who was that? A child? Is there some sort of sanity system in this? I hope not, because otherwise I'm probably going to die. Almost certainly going to die. Not very good with sanity systems. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're in the dining room. We're going to go through here. So, we've got a couple of things to look at. We've got some locked doors. Uh, I'm going to go through the kitchen one first. Oh, yeah. it's locked. I use my key. Like this one? Use. Mm -hmm. Shiver! Open the door. Let's go in. Knock, knock. Oh, look. <laughs> the door's not there anymore. Surprise, surprise. Mm. Classical music is with the house perfect. Oh, look. This whole room stinks like tobacco. I understand hunting for food, but this is too much. Ah, flathead screwdriver. Looks like it's seen better days. It's easy to take off screws with a screwdriver that long, even if they are rusty. Combine. Oh, with the box. Ah, we got some fuses. Four fuses. They were in an old metal box. They stopped making this kind of fuse a long time ago. Okay, fabulous. There's so much junk all over, as if they empty boxes looking for something. Interesting. Seems to be a note on the wall. Ah. Oh, I saw another door yesterday. I was walking as I was walking by the dining room. I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, and when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and the, and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. I saw the door. 
I suppose that's supposed to say wide. Oh, I saw the weird door, Julia said. The one that wasn't there before. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse. Uh, or I will hide... Oh, and I will hide the five dolls too. Even if they get mad at me, I will bring them, bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry. Ah, oh, let's just do this. Uh, and I will fight, hide the five dolls too. Even if they get mad at me, I'll bring them out. Uh, one will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another will read while Mummy takes a shower. Or Mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Oh, so that's Saul's writing. Okay. So what, we got to find the dolls? I guess. The ambience in this room is a little disconcerting, I'm not going to lie. What? 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 What are you doing? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hello. Is there anyone there? Hide under the table. Hide under the table. Hide under the table. Do it now. Do it now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, something is trying to get in. Make sure the door does not open. Gather your strength from pace. you press E. Once you feel strong enough to push the door, press space. Waiting for maximum strength is effective but risky. You decide when to push the door, but be extra careful. No matter what happens, you make sure you keep it shut. Oh no! Okay. I'm gonna die. The door. Being extra careful. Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now. But don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, could it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you have already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. Amen to I that. Who pushed that door? What's happening? Hey, listen. Oh. <laughs> That sounds fun, doesn't it? Maybe we won't go in there. Can I save? I kind of want to save and just push my way in there. I feel like that's a bad idea. Let me listen to this door. We're working to the assumption this do that this door is chill. Okay, so we're back in the corridor. Ooh. Why? Are you hinting at me that I need to go upstairs? Okay, it's just gonna let me in here now. The monster has gone! Uh, I'm gonna see if I can unlock this kitchen. Oh, it's the cable. It scared me then. I'm gonna see if I can unlock this. Mm -mm. Uh, with key, that key. Use. Mm -hmm. Key fits. Oh, listen, of course. Well, it doesn't sound like there's anything nefarious back there. Well, let's head on in. Knack, knack. An empty wardrobe. I could fit inside it, in fact. Well, why don't we do that? Forget it, Lena. This place is a complete mess. Ah, oh, Dios mío. That looks like dead birds. Ah, but wood. Firewood. A small pile of logs. They cut this firewood clean with an axe. That's what we like to see. I'm going to have to listen at this door. No. Still don't like that ambience, though. Still not a fan of the ambience. And what's with the heartbeat? Where, why is that going? I don't understand! Am I gonna die? 
work on the assumption that each door I don't have to listen to is probably safe. I'm hoping it's going to be safe. Okay, so that's that door conquered. Uh, we will go upstairs, but I have the key now, so I can now enter the rooms that I could not before. So that took me down to the garage. Was there a fuse board down there? I don't remember. Let's go have a look. If there was, maybe we can get some power back in this place. Uh, bike. No, just the boiler. Unless I fit the fuse to the boiler, but I wouldn't have thought so. Click it anyway. Boiler's here. No. Fuse board's probably in one of the rooms. Rim <laughs> Oh, that doggy died. Bye, bye, doggy. Which door was it? Was it this door? Ah, uh, oh, locked nope. from the other side. Oh, listen. Okay, nothing there. Uh, use. <laughs> Javier, the door opened. Okay, let's go in. Please, nothing kill me. Is that useful on the wall? Nope. Why are we getting the front-facing view going down into the basement? I'd quite like to be up. Why are you not going down? Okay. Just, just fooling around. It's fine. Well, I'm not a fan of this place. There's a note stuck in the safe. Yeah, what what's this? The Senoras of the House have expensive wine collection. Okay, okay. I can deal with that. What does that say? Oh, let's just do this. Dear Julia, I found uh, if you found this note, congratulations! You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favourite doll in the safe and exchanged the combination. Oh, change the combination, sorry. Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think it, this is a great chance to put your detection skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our suits, Jess, four. Salt's age, seven. The decade, the year, uh, the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from Daddy. Uh, anything else? No. Okay, well, we can uh, open that one, hopefully. This painting is 1945. It's from 1945. It's so sad. That's not what it said, though, was it? Safe. Must be the one that Mr. Hasha mentioned in the note. Ah. Okay. Oh, I see. What do I... Do I click? Information. Ah, right. Okay. So it's Street Jess, which is four. Mm -mm. No, how do I... How do I move it? Ah, there we go. Okay, so four, seven, seven, and then what was the, what's the other two? The decade and year canvas hanging upstairs right next to the suitcase, no, right next to the staircase is painted. Decade and year. Decade and year. Is that not just the last two numbers of the year, then? Decade and year. Interesting way to put that. There's nothing I can use here. Nada. This basement is full of useful, useless junk, like a lot of houses. Oh. Oh, yeah. Jeez, huh? why? Huh? What's that on the floor? Oh, no, that's the wine. Well, this looks like a whole lot of dinero. And small TV. A door! What's a wardrobe? I think they left this wardrobe empty. I'm sure I can fit inside. Okay, we're finding all the hiding places. This would be where the fuses go. I bet uh, the fuses blew out. I bet an overloaded trip set. I bet an overload trip circuit breaker. Okay, so. Oh, fun. Uh, do I have to work out which one goes where? 
How do I know? Do I just put them in randomly? So this one... Green. I'm going to assume is that. What else we got? That looks like red and that looks like blue. What am I holding? Oh, hang on. That one's green as well. Oh, no. Hang on. Restart. I don't know which colour's which. Oh, maybe that's blue. Is that supposed to be blue? Maybe that's blue. That's definitely yellow. So maybe that's supposed to be red. Let's try putting that in the blue slot then. And then that one in red. That one in green. And that one there. Damn. Put them in the wrong place. Need to adjust so that each cylinder has the right amount. Oh, crap. How do I know? Uh, I don't know which one's which. Do I just have to guess? I'm not sure I understand yet. So 50 amps, 25 amps, and 30 amps. Well, I think I, I, I get that. But how do I know... Am I just guessing by looking? Okay, so I'm, ass I'm assuming the way they're going in is also the way they're coming out. So by that logic, the top one is going in that first box, which is the 25 amps. And the first box is powered by the green one and the blue one and the red one, I think. So... But how do what? But what? Three going in, coming out. How does that work? How can I make that work to make up twenty-five amps? So I've already got ten, a fifteen, a twenty, and a twenty-five. What? Hang on. Okay, so, right, let's try and work out the big boy. 50. So he's in... It looks like he's in the middle box, which is fine. So he's fed by... Green... And that yellow. So to make 50... I need 25 twice. What? How do I... Say so twenty five has to go there. And he's getting the yellow one. That would only give forty five amps. I'm I'm probably doing this completely wrong. Fifteen there and the ten there. You should adjust the current so that each cylinder has the right amount. Ow. What? I mean, I'm not an electrician, so I don't really understand. <laughs> Just the current so that each one has the right amount. Is there like some instructions somewhere on this? Is there something I... Oops. Is there a note that I missed? Oh, hang on. J. Dusty note. Remember, I saw... Safe for it all. Was the dusty note again? Oh, yeah. Um... Oh. Bang! Something is wrong with the fuse box. Well, I realised that. <laughs> Sorry, that's quite that's quite entertaining. Okay. <gasps> she still gets scared by it. Is there a note or something that I can do? Okay, there must be a way to figure this out. Is it a multiplication thing, maybe? No, it can't be. Okay, hang on, let's, let's work out, uh, not that one, let's go for the 30 amp first, so it's on the right hand side, so it's fed by the green and the red, which is that, 
So now, that's already too much in the first one. I don't understand! Okay, so what if I just put 15 in there and 25 in that one? Nope. Okay. I'm going to have to come back to this. Oh, there, there might be a note somewhere that can help me or something. Because I don't, I don't understand. I don't know electronics, and I wish I did. Maybe there's going to be a note in the office or something? No, we were in the office, weren't we? Where else might there be a note? Maybe upstairs? So what does our map look like now? Ah, so we can change floor. There's a puzzle and a hiding place. Two puzzles and a hiding place. Okay, it's showing me hiding places and things to do, which is good. Okay, so next thing I want to do is head to the living room, or what appeared to be a living room, and go and light that fire. Hopefully. Da, 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 da. Our place could light it up, so we want some wood. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some paper as well, or can we just slap the matches on that? No, not the ring! The matches. Okay, so we need some paper. That's fine. We'll find some paper. Uh, is there anywhere else locked down here that we can't get into? Just the blocked door, so that's fine. We can move on upstairs! I guess. Hopefully with without dying. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Zero death. Pray for me, if you will. Oh, I do not like the point of view on these stairs, man. This painting just here, I need. Painting the mirror must norm a painting on a mirror must normally here. Uh, left a mark on the wall. Okay, so we're looking for some sort of oval painting. Oh, this man looks worried. Looks worried. Here it says the painting is from 1634. That's not what the note was after, though, was it? It was after... Canvas right next to the staircase was painted, but it's not there. Okay. Somewhere else I could just sit back, relax, and watch the wind blowing through the trees, but not here. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's a person! Oh, there's a person! I don't know if you can see it. You should be able to. Just just down to the left. Oh, that makes my skin tingle. I don't like that. Is it still there? Oh, and it's gone. Okay! Bye-bye! <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Okay, before we start knocking on doors, we'll just do this corridor. Uh, mm -hmm. A picture of three people on a light. So black and white photo, an image of Catherine, the hush's wife, and their with their children, Julia and Saul. Uh, do not look at this photo. Do not look at this photo. Well, it's too late now. Oh. It's even more too late now. That was, uh, that was a bit disconcerting. Listen. This room appears to be chill. Okay, good to know. Still got a couple more bits stuck out in this corridor. Novel by, a novel by Sebastian P. Husher, The Golden Bonfire. Hopefully, we'll have no more door shenanigans. Shenaniganery. Oh, does this, does this continue? Oh, it does continue. Okay. Wow. Wait, what? What are you gasping about? Inca figurines. I recognise them with my eyes shut. That'd be quite hard to do, but fair play. Ugh. In 
Pacamama's name. What is that dark stuff? Good question. Probably should leave it alone. Damn, this place is huge. Uh huh. Remote control. Standard garage door. Remote control. Buttons seem a bit worn down. Sure. Hmm. Looks like kind of remote useful awnings or metal doors, like the one downstairs. So, for whatever reason, we can open that. I would like this armchair more if it did not smell of tobacco. I could hide it on this table if it's necessary. Good to know. Manuals on many subjects. I read this one on electrical circuits for my studies. A landscape with no salt, painting in 1906, the label says. Not the correct painting, though. Uh, dictionaries and encyclopedias. For a writer, they are my, like my tools for me. A wooden filing cabinet. Here, the senoras of the house uh, kept their, keep their professional contacts information. Can I listen? Apparently not. Indigenous masks, but not the ones of my country. Maybe they're from Africa. Anything else on this desk? Uh, points that way. Nope, apparently not. Guess this door is safe. Oh, piece of busted metal that jammed the door. Okay, so that's a thing to do. Don't think I have anything to take that out with. That's a nope. Hmm. Okay, we should walk back down the corridor. Oh, oh my days. What was that? I don't want to know. I don't care. We're well, not going to go that way. We're well, going to continue down this way. Oh, e. Can we go outside? We can go outside. What is the? Can I? Can I have that? What is that? What is that? What is it? Mm -hmm. Tongs. Grill tongs. Grill tongs with a wooden handle. Perfect for cooking a barbecue. Huh? These are some fine tongs. Good grip. Oh, hello. Happy anniversary. Great. That was it. Crumbs, that gave me a scare, that door. I had some clips for the battery post. I'm sure I could get the floodlight to turn on. It's going to be hard to turn this floodlight on if I don't plug it in. Okay. That's outside look better than the plants inside. I'd hope so. The sack must have soil in it for the plants. Okay, well the floodlight I think would probably be quite useful. Because of the way it's pointed I'm assuming that it would light up in here. Don't go banging that door again. note. Mm -hmm. uh, dear Sebastian, I want to tell you firsthand that I will be taking some much needed time off, which means that the store will be closed as of tomorrow. I want, to I want you to hear it from me rather than read it on a sign on our door. My daughter is currently travelling and I must confess I can't keep up with our everyday demands on my own, especially since I haven't been able to sleep well lately. As soon as she's back, we will be open for business again. Rest assured, you will be the first to know. I, I hope to feel better by then. Please give my warmest regards to your family sincerely. Isaac Father. Okay. Uh, nothing further on that one. Lots of doors does concern me a little. Okay, we'll make our way back to the first door and then just uh, methodically work our way around. I'm going to listen to this door just quickly. Appears to be clear. Which is intriguing after all that banging. I thought there was a shadow of someone there in the in the window. Okay, so this is the first door here, actually. Let's just give it a listen. Assuming that's all clear. 
Here we go. Uh, Locked nope. key. Locked, you say? Mm -hmm. Door is open. I don't need a key. You just told me it was locked. What? That was weird. Mm. Oh no! Oh no! Is it the same situation? It's totally dark in there. I can't see a thing. I think that's the switch for lights inside the bedroom. If I can turn the electricity back on in the house. That might be a bad idea. There's an open book, uh, but I don't understand the strange language. The uh, a boat that looks a boat like the Spanish, like the ones in Spanish came to the Americas in for the first time. Okay, uh, we're gonna leave this place because that is horrifying, and I'm gonna leave. Bye. <laughs> don't have to deal with that, do we? Wait, so surely this door leads to the same bedroom that I've just been poking around at. Is it locked? Oh, hey, hello. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay. Many bathroom products not open yet. Maybe they're for guests. I got a dishcloth. A dirty dishcloth. Wow, the physics on that is incredible. That's so good. I am amazed. Hmm. It's nice, like a sponge when you touch it. Not sure about that. How many dishcloths have you touched that are spongy? Can I clean it? Now that I got a, now that I got a cloth? Can I do some cleaning? So not sure about that child that was running around. We don't... Don't come down and free roam children in this place. Mierda. Jammed. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well this was the bangy door. So hopefully there's nothing scary in here. What else we got? Hmm. Oil paintings piled up in the corner like old junk. They're from 1883 and 1790. So old! Not the painting I want. Dry paint and some messed up paintbrushes. Shells are full of stains from a long time ago. What else we got there? Hmm. See something dragged underneath... Dragged on... What? What? What she say? I can see something was dragged under that trap door there. You mean that one? On the floor? I'm trying to turn around so I can look at it. I cannot look at it. Can I crouch? Nope. Okay. Okay. Can I do anything about it? Tongs, maybe? Mm. Nope. Wait, what am I trying to reach? Mm -mm. What am I trying to do? I don't understand. What trap door? Is there a trap door? Is that is that above me? Where am I? I'm there. Because it looks like there's a trap door on the floor. Oh no, that's not a trap door. See, something was dragged under that trap door there. What trap door? Is that a trap door on the wall? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't understand! I'm going to work under the assumption that I don't have anything currently that will do anything for me. What happens if I use my radio? Personal it's passive. Don't know what's wrong with saying something. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, don't know. We'll come back to it. Do 
Okay, let's continue working our way around the doors. We're going to go away from the way that the ch child went. Because uh, I don't really wish to interact with that child. Was there any other doors around here? I think this was actually just it, wasn't it? This just that door in the end. That's fine, we'll go back down the other way. That's ah, so dark! Ah! No! Again! With that door! Holy mother of earth! Oh, my days! Is there anything actually in there? No! Every time! Does it just trigger every time you walk down there? Okay, let's listen at this door. Doesn't appear to be anything. Give it a go. Little through room. Blueprints. Scaffold goes here. Uh. Elevation plan of the Husham mansion and an elevation of the mansion with some notes on it. What does it say? Sca oh, it just says scaffold goes here. And I'm assuming that's some sort of signature or something. Uh, erect scaffolding, paint exterior, repair leaks, fix loose tiles, check all pipes. Okay. Cool. Another wreck there. I'm not such a fan of those paintings. Have a listen. Gonna assume it's safe. Uh, <gasps> Never no. mind then. Hello, ma'am. Is that the crying woman in there? Can I get in? Yeah. No. Still locked. Never mind. What is wrong with her? I need to find a way to get in there. I'd rather not, you know. Okay, I guess we'll go and try and solve this electrics puzzle because. You still don't understand it. Uh, so what have I actually gained from it up here? Uh, nothing. Apart from the garage key. Which could be interesting to use. I still don't know what that painting is though. Just a bit annoying. Yeah, emails. Okay, so we've got lots of puzzles to solve. Um, that's a weird noise. Huh? What are you saying how about? Is there a thing that's going to kill me? That's a creaky floor. Uh, what do I need to do? So I was going to go to the garage. I need to go down to the basement to try and solve this electrics puzzle. She's like, oh yeah, I've read all these electrics books. That's great. But I need to know how to solve that fuse issue. There must be a way. Hmm. Oh, let's just park the bike again. Uh, I can try using the key in here, surely. Uh, use. Oh, there you go. Of course. Don't be silly, Ben. Why? Why would that work? Uh, I guess we'll go down to the basement again then. Down to this wretched area. She's so chill. Well, she's actually quite quick. Fair enough. Whee! Okay, here we go again. Right. 25 amps, 50 amps, 30 amps. Yeah? I can make 25 there, and that plus that. But there are three leads leading into it. 
So how on earth do I make 25 out of three things? Unless I'm looking at this all wrong. Have I got the cables wrong? Maybe 50 is the one on the right hand side. They don't look any different. I can't see any other markings. Um, it's got to be a way around this. I just don't know it. I'm going to have to work under the assumption that that first box is the 50 because there's no other way that you could make the 50 amps otherwise. Uh, so if we put 25 there and... Um, there. No, that's... So that would work to make that one 25. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No! Restart, hang on. Right. Let's put the 25... There. Because I don't think we need the 25 for anything else. And then we'll put... 15... Put it there. Oh, we don't want the. We really want the 15 to feed two of the boxes. So that one. So that middle one must be the 30. So I'm guessing that one and then that one. Ah, oh, okay. So it wasn't actually that difficult to work out. I just had to spend some time actually thinking about it. Let me flick a dick this one. <gasps> No, still went bang. Ah, oh, it's the wire in the kitchen. So what do I do about that? What if I... Oh, maybe the cloth. Maybe that's what it is. Because she said something good about the cloth, didn't she? She said it was like, good for drying or something. So if we go back to the kitchen, then hopefully I can clean up... Good. Makes all sorts of strange noises. Where do I need to go? So back down the main corridor and take the door on the left in the corner. So go back to the kitchen and try and sort out that wire. What if I have finite stamina? Probably do. Usually the case of these things. Okay, now if I come round to come on, walk, walk. Uh, this is the dishcloth. Hmm. Okay, the water's gone. Do I have to do anything else, or is that that solved? That's that solved. Great, cool, good to know. Still all clear for this door. all clear for this door. I'm approaching every door quite cautiously because I know that one of these days a big a big monster thing is going to come get me and I'm going to die. But hopefully now this means the fuses are going to work. I should have approached that door a little more cautiously but here we are. The listening mechanic is quite cool. The fact that you can listen to doors. Oh no, yeah. Lights on, thank you. Like I say, I hope there's not I hope there isn't a sanity meter. The heartbeat doesn't fill me with joy, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that it's constantly pounding every every two minutes. Okay, so do I have to do the fuses again? Fuses are in the right place. So now I should just be able to fit, flip that. <gasps> and let there be light!
fabulous. I came to fix the electricity. But that doesn't seem like the most important Ex thing right Excuse now. me? Everyone see that, right? Everyone see the hand? Do not. I repeat, do not. Faff. Zero faff, please. No, there wasn't anything down there. Uh, I wonder if I can force these numbers. Oh, I could force them, but that's boring. We'll work it out, I'm sure. What are you doing? Go up the stairs. Thank you. This movement looking system is a little tricky. But we're getting there, we're getting there. And bang, 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 bang! Okay, maybe not. And bang, 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 bang! Still all good in the head, it seems. Okay, so now. Uh, still don't have paper for the fire in the dining room, which is okay. Basement has a puzzle. Oh, that's the safe. Of course it is. Uh, back balcony. We've got the floodlight to sort. The study has the door with the thing. Oh, I wonder if the tongs will work on that. Maybe we'll do that next. And then we've got the light switch, which we can now flick. And there was the puzzle of the trap door. Oh, I wonder if we can do something with this now. The alarm controls are getting electricity, but the alarm was reset. Now you've got to activate, activate it to make the kit work right. Activate it. What do you mean? Open the door. Who the hell is there? Ah! <laughs> what was that? Should we listen? There ain't nothing there. There's nobody here. I don't know why. It was there was an option to listen both ways, so I listened. Doesn't seem to be anything there. At least I hope not, because otherwise I'm trapped in the bathroom. I open this? I can. Well, the lights are on. Not trip the alarm. Not sure how to do that. Oh! It beeped. Okay, turn off the alarm. Now it should work right. Okay, job done. Off we go. Now I've got puzzles. Got puzzles to solve. I can't just leave. Stairs. Got painting to find. I got things to do. Got people to see. Hopefully not. Well, the lights are largely on, which is always a good start. Um. Yeah, we said we were going to do that corner door first. So if I can get that piece of metal out with the tongs. Ah! Whoa, whoa! How did you get in here? There was blocks before. The dark is hiding. Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you for a place to... It's a place where you can go undetected. Once you've interacted with a hiding place, it will appear on the map with the following symbol. Time is short to run the whole shift. I can hide in here. Okay, get in then. Turn your flashlight off. Okay. Okay. okay, the darkness keeping calm. You managed to hide from the darkness, but the worst is yet to come. Try to keep a level head. Calm down, follow the rhythm of your heart by pressing space. When the white border reaches the center of the circle, uh, do not let your heart beat too fast or you start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Crumbs, that was terrifying. Okay, and now we're fine. <laughs> okay. What just happened? Everything seems to be back to normal. Have I lost my mind? Hmm. What a beautiful doll's house. Must have cost some major dinero. That must be where all the dolls are gonna go. Uh. Second drawing by Saul. A drawing by done by Hush's youngest child. Saul seven. A bit concerning, isn't it? He obviously can see the darkness. No more chacho that I would know would make drawings like that. Complicated toys and so ugly. Complicated old toys, sorry. I'm going to assume that there's no one out here. Oh, lovely. This has got worse. Not going in there, not even for pack a mama. Yep, I think that's wise. Every time it goes to this view, I'm expected to be able to see something. Okay, so this, I reckon. Uh, tongs. Ah, uh, nope. No, not gonna hook onto it with this. Okay, what about the ring? I could stick this ring together with a piece of metal in some way. Okay, what if I do. Hang on. Combine mm -hmm. that and that? No. Matchbox, remote. Oh, I haven't got anything else. Not yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so, right. There's that door to saw, the light, trapdoor, playroom's got the puzzle of the doll's house. But I have none of the dolls yet. Uh, that was the bathroom. This is the next place we need to go to turn on the lights for that bedroom. Or whatever room this is. I'm gonna assume that all is okay then. What is the bedroom? These records are so old! Everything is so old! What have we got? A ragdoll! A ragdoll with a flower in her hair. Oh, the physics! I love the physics. And I want a beautiful doll with her little mouth open. Ooh, tape? I would not want to live in such a lonely place. Yeah, we'll grab the tape, please. Uh -huh. Masha's recording. Uh, voice recording of the Husher Mansion ha Housekeeper. Mousekeeper. H Husher Mansion Housekeeper. Masha. The label on the cassette reads September 11th, 1988. Can I listen to it? Ah. and you never went to sleep? 
Someone started packing but never finished. I only see clothes in one of the bags. Okay, so this is essentially the servants' quarters then. This is where uh, Ale Alex Alexander, that bloke, I'm assuming he's would have resided in there also. Okay, so we found. What did we get? I got a rag doll. I don't know what I would use. Can I combine it with something? Mierda. Okay, maybe the tongs. Nope. No? Okay. Mm, lots of questions. <laughs> oh, that door is awful. Um, right, so the study is still yet to solve. I wonder if this ragdoll's part of the playroom then. Let's go and see. Oh! Let's listen to the walkie. Is it coming from in here? No. For some reason that's kicked up. Is it this? in the room or is that that door behind me I think that might be the door behind me it wouldn't make sense to put something in this room now that there's a puzzle in there I'm just gonna hope that there's nothing in there fingers crossed everybody no we're all good Okay, I have to work out what room the doll's got to go in. I have no idea. I had a note for this, didn't I? Uh, Jay. Huh? Just you know, da 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 da. Julian Saul's notes. Saul said. <laughs> One will be hungry, another. Ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. <sighs> is, is this. I don't think she cast that one as ugly. No, that's not what I want to do. Red ragdoll. Excuse me. Don't say about colours, does he? So I actually have no idea where this is going to go. Okay, well we'll leave, we'll leave it for now. We don't have to solve it just yet. I don't know. Oh, can I combine it with a ragdoll? I wonder. Huh? Uh, combine. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. It's fine. Okay. Not to worry. We'll uh, press on. So where have I got to go now? I still haven't solved this painting. I could just force it, I guess. I don't think the tongs were big enough for the thing, were they? That door was blocked. I haven't got battery. Oh, the garage door. 
Huh? That's what we'll do. We'll go and open the garage door now that we can do that. So I haven't seen that painting. Good, it seems. Well, then, yeah. uh, carriage door, sorry, this way. Seems to be a thump and a bumping going on. Huh? Oh, the boiler! Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. is running straight down from around here, though, maybe because the pipe's leaking. Red, blue, right. What have I got to do? Boiler functioning, shut down, press the left button. Start, press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Okay, which was the blue one? That one. one. Stopped. Don't need to turn on the heating. That was it? That's all I had to do. Okay, I'll just leave it alone then, I guess. And then... Da -da 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 -da! to outdoors. Here's a car. Oh, with some battery clamps. Household repair. Huh? Wires insulated. There's no risk of short circuiting when using them. Okay, so we can hook the floodlight up to these. Oh, I was probably missing the battery. Huh? It would appear that way. Oh. Seems to send your left a folder in the back seat. Can I have it? Should I try to take the folder? Uh, yes. Okay, I got it. Haiku folder 2. A piece of collectible. A blue folder that has several sheets of paper in it. Can I, can I do anything about it? Wow, the inside is really fancy. Okay, it's swinging up a storm, eh? Ooh, it's not this gate. Is there anything else? It doesn't appear to be. What's she freaking out about? Oh, this gate keeps swinging in the wind. Okay. Sand pit. <gasps> Newspaper. Okay. Barbecue. Mm. In Peru, we often got together with many families to cook a big asado together. Mm. Here's the door. I guess they use these tools to fix up the yard. They have one. Attack the ghosts. Doesn't seem to be anything behind the door. So I'm quick another quick scan around, just to make sure I've not missed anything. <laughs> nice bench, some leaves. Doesn't appear to be anything massive. Huh? So what's this gonna be? Like some sort of shed? Mm -mm. Vaulted lot. Seems like seven entrance. Wait. Can I use my key? Oh I haven't got my key anymore. <laughs> No. I've got anything that I could try. Oh. Okay, so what do I do with this? Oh, who knows. 
Okay, so I guess that's it for out here. At least we've got the wires for the floodlight, so we'll put the floodlight on. Worst case scenario, we can always hop on the motorbike and get out of here. Um, here goes our walkie talkie again. There's just going to be a point when it goes, and I hear something important. Now it can see. Okay, and stopped. The <laughs> uh, cables. Connected. Put the floodlight on. I grab it by the handles. Ah, I can burn this away. Okay, it might break. Break. I just need to keep trying. So it seems like it should work. Give me one more go, just in case it's a try it until it works kind of thing. Okay, can't work that one out yet. Must be something else I can do with that though. Hmm. Which was like, yeah, I know the battery's already connected. Could be something else I can do. Another thing I can do, what if I focus the light? And then move it over that. So you can focus in a specific area. So it just seems to all start disappearing when I point it over there. Okay, so there's gonna be there's gonna be some other things that I'm missing here. Key the hiding place is still got the still got the um fire to light in the living room. I still got the safe to work out in the basement. Still found that painting. What if I Oh. So what did she say? Piece of metal, busting jump door. Stick the string with a piece of metal in some way. I don't think I have anything to do that with, do I? No. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, excuse me guys, just got blown the nose. Oh. 
Oh, sorry about that. Hiding spot. Oh, there's got to be something I'm missing. Uh, door? No. Okay, door's not going to go bang. Can I turn on the light over here to, like, assist? It doesn't seem so. Here's a room I need to go into. That's a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Stay close, por favor. <laughs> I love how she has a little bit of a sense of humor. Okay, we'll come back to that door in a bit. Was this on before? If I crack out the walkie-talkie now. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't understand. Is there anything else I can do? It's still there? Oh no, they appear to have gone. Okay. The door's still covered in goop. Um, what am I missing here? I've got to be missing something. Maybe we'll just go down and force that safe, see if we can. Because I can't find that painting for love nor money. There's just something else down here that I'm supposed to be looking at, and I'm just not seeing. The only other puzzle, or the only other thing to do, it says, is light that fire, but I have no paper. Oh, unless I use the haiku. I use that? I would have thought so, but give it a go. Oh, I've got some light on in here now. Doesn't make it much more pleasant, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, use that. I cannot. Uh, nope. Okay, so I still need paper. Oh, there must be somewhere that I can get paper to... Oh! Okay, fine. I will not play the piano anymore. Play that one note and that'll be it. No, two notes, sorry. Let's go back to this office and see if there's anything, anything in here now that's lit. Oh. Hello. Ah, mama, Mother Earth. Hmm. Or oh, since tobacco. Still nothing really in here. It's said when lost. Where are you reading your notes? It's got a safe riddle. right next to the staircase it's missing unless it's the one that is there 
Let's try it. Oh, I can't remember what the uh, the one that is there is. I always wonder if these events are random, like when the dude turns up. Oh. Yeah, that's rusted again. If I make my way to the library then. Wait, what? What did that say? What was that? Is he in the house? Okay. It seems to be a little bit stronger in here. Don't do anything if I pull it out. I have no idea what this is about. Or maybe the walkie goes off when he's on the prowl? Is that what the deal is? So... What did I say? What does it do? Head down and look at the safe. Oh, well. Pop up and have a look at that painting. It definitely seems to get louder when I come upstairs, so I don't I don't really understand what what I'm missing. Ah! Oh my days. Darkness. It's coming. Oh right. Okay. That's a problem. in here. Okay, now we've got to do the heart thing again. Ah! Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're good. I thought I got it right! Okay, they're okay! We're alright, we're alive. Was that for real? Yes, sadly. Uh, as back as it was. Thirty-four. Okay, we'll try that. It's not the same shape, but maybe that is the one. I just don't, I just don't know. It's part of the issue. Okay. Head down to the basement. Being well, I haven't found any paintings that match that shape. So I'll try 34. Uh, don't do it, that's it. Uh, three, four, nope, nope. To the old. I mean, it probably won't be that. Mierda. I didn't make a mistake interpreting the note. I just don't know where this last painting is. Forty-five. Mm -mm. Ah. Nope. I know this is very mm -mm. cheaty, but 
I just need to know what's in this safe now. Ah, uh, no. Mm mm. Ah, uh, nope. Nope. Okay, so it's not 1909. Let's change that to one. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, this is gonna take us forever. It would work eventually, but it's gonna take us a long time. Where, where would this picture be? just missing something somewhere. Maybe there is something that I'm just not grasping. And I don't know why. Ah! <laughs> My days. What was that? Which door was that? Was that this door? Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, My days. Um, I'm just not sure. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to try and solve this mystery in the next stream, my friends, because I have run out of time. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me. As always, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming and enjoying scary games with me. Keeping me company so that I don't absolutely scream and cry. <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying this. It's been quite interesting. Uh, obviously, lots of puzzles to try and solve. And, uh, you know, it might take me a little while to get through it. Uh, but we, we'll we we'll see. We'll see. We'll try and... Uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll just... Look up a tiny bit of walkthrough just to try and push ourselves forwards. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Take care and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye for now!